Cheers. 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 This video is sponsored by Surfshark. We were actually pulled over by the guards. Uh, blue flashing lights. end of the Wild Atlantic Way. There was no sort of finish line, I, but I guess this is it. We finished it. Hi everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Lost in Transit. We're Tom and Iz. A couple of years ago, we decided to do up an old Ford Transit, move into it and disappear into the great outdoors. After fitting out the van and escaping lockdowns, we are finally living van life. Come along for the ride as we attempt to live, work and play in a tiny space together while travelling the world. Having spent three months in Scotland, we crossed the Irish Sea to Ireland. This series, we will be following the Wild Atlantic Way along some of the most spectacular scenery in the world. Hello and welcome to a new vlog. Uh, we are down south in Ireland. This week, we are on the south coast of Ireland and this represents the last stretch of the Wild Atlantic Way. So the Wild Atlantic Way actually ends in Kinsale uh, and we are over near Skibbereen. So it's not too far till we finish. The coastline here is really different to what we've had previously. It's been very rugged and wild before and this feels much more pleasant and hospitable. Um, we got like rolling hills and lovely uh, calm seas. Ah oh, yeah, so we're gonna walk around now the Rinneen Woods. It's really beautiful. We actually had a walk around last night and had a gorgeous sunset here. We're getting our first signs of spring at the moment. The birds are singing, the sun's rising earlier, the sun's setting later. I love how in the woods in Ireland they put little fairy houses all around. So fear you'd love it here. Really beautiful spot here and a very easy short loop. So it takes about less than an hour, 45 minutes I'd say to do this loop. It's that time of the day when the bed goes away and we feel like we've got a whole new van. Yeah, we do try and really make an effort to put it away every morning just because even if we're not gonna be working in the van in the day, it's just nice to be able to like eat at the table and. Just, it does separate the night from the day. Guys, it's proper t-shirt weather today. It's beautiful, glorious day. And we're gonna go explore Glandor now. We're just walking up to a sweet little church that has a really interesting gate cut out into the wall. It's really cool. What an amazing entrance to a church. With the uh, change in the weather, it just feels like spring is here, summer is coming. Um, it's really nice, lovely. We've just arrived at Drumbeg Stone Circle. There is a height barrier, but there's a little spot you can park at um, to stay out the way just in front of the entrance. It's summer. Woo! Here we are at Drumbeg Stone Circle. This stone circle is quite an impressive one. This one has the two large portal stones, which are probably would have been the entrance, and they line up opposite with the axial stone, which is this one on its side. And on the winter solstice, the sun will set directly below uh, the recumbent axial stone. And here, someone's left some daffodils, which is quite fitting because it's St David's Day today. So then over this side, we have some like hut circle type things and we also have this structure which they think was possibly an outdoor cooking area. It's got this large trough in the middle which as it is today would have been filled with water. This uh, cooking area has now been 
The modern day use is the tadpole hatchery. We have come to a beach called Warren Beach and it's been recommended to us, find a good spot to go swimming. The weather's perfect so we're running out of excuses not to. So on camera it does actually look like a really nice day I and mean, it is a beautiful day but it's freezing still, like it's the wind is bitter. Cold, yeah, chilly wind. It's so cold. It's so beautiful. It's so cold. It's so clear. Oh, probably a quick little dunk. We've come up to Galleyhead View. It's a glorious up here. It's very, very sunny. Here we are at Galleyhead. You can't actually get right up to the lighthouse. It's a private road, but we got some sick views. We have come to Red Strand, which is yet another like stunning beach. And we are meeting some people here. We're meeting Johnny and Hannah, who also have a YouTube channel and Instagram, and they are called Finding Our Adventure. And they are just starting the World Atlantic Way as we are finishing. So we thought it'd be fun if we pass on the baton and uh, give them some tips of what to expect and where to go. Uh, so we're meeting them here. What a nice spot to spend the evening. Hannah has just made us delicious fajitas, can't wait. It's got all of the bits, it's got guacamole, jalapeno, salsa. So next course of the, the night is, is ready. Hannah is the chef superstar tonight. We've got um, a round of pancakes. It's pancake day, Shrove Tuesday. What a treat. So we've just come back from Johnny and Hannah's and the evening is winding down. Me and Iz are just gonna watch a film and I thought this would be a good chance to tell you about this week's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network. So what Surfshark does is encrypt your data between your phone or your laptop or however you choose to connect to the internet and the internet itself. It works by providing you with a new IP address. This means that you can use public Wi-Fis without fear that someone might be stealing your data, whether that be big business or scammers. The other thing it does, which is really cool, is it allows you to choose where you would like your IP address to appear like you're coming from. So for example, while we're here in Ireland, BBC iPlayer doesn't work. But if I change my settings on Surfshark, I can appear like I'm coming from Glasgow, which means I have access to the BBC and we also have Netflix and we can choose to log into the American Netflix and get all of their shows as well. If you'd like to get Surfshark too, then please use the link below in our description and the promotion code TRANSIT and you'll get a mega 83% off and an extra three months for free as well. Morning happy campers. We had a lovely sleep by the side of the road last night at Red Strand and we are going on a big walk today with Johnny and Hannah over at Long Strand. Uh, just, we're just slowly waking up. Me and Tom had a bit of a lazy morning. Well, sorry, Johnny and Hannah. Yeah, we just kept pressing the news. <laughs> it's so cozy in here. So, after yesterday's glorious weather, today we're treated with mist. But we have to introduce you to Johnny and Hannah's cats, Tia and Sky. We actually got stickers with their faces on last night. Woo! And um, they're the cutest cats, they've got van cats, and they've come on holiday with them. We're off on our walk, we've got to do a little bit on the road because we ha there wasn't any parking for camper vans down there. Come on, children! <laughs> yeah. We've just entered this enchanted, spooky forest, and we're about to head to a ruined church.
the path has turned into a river. So that right there is the path. Yeah. I'm glad that we've um, moved off it. Hopefully the next bit's gonna be drier, otherwise we're gonna have to turn back. We're finishing off our walk with a trip to Long Strand. We're gonna walk along the beach and then head up back to the vans. We finished our walk and we headed to the fish basket and we have come back to the vans because the rain has started to fall. We timed our walk quite well by the looks of it. It's a rainy afternoon. What better way to spend it than to make sushi? So I bought all the sushi ingredients the other day and we are having a sushi party. So we moved from the spot we were at just on the cliffs there and we've come into Clona Kilty because we've heard there's a really good live music venue. But on the way here, uh, we were actually pulled over by the guards. Uh, blue flashing lights pull us over uh, and he comes and lets me know that my tail light's out. And then he goes, wait, I know you're on YouTube. And uh, he gave us some tips of places to see nearby and um, a bit of a bizarre experience, but yeah, um, really, really cool. So there's a really cute little cat here and the smart and the campsite they're staying at and he's really friendly, he loves us. Oh you're so cute! <laughs> I wanted to stay. She just shut the door. Well, let's, see, well, let's just like leave it open and see what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you just properly settled in. I think he wants to go out. I'll leave it open. Choice. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to go hunt your mice? Guys, we've woken yeah. up and it was meant to be raining today and it's such a sunny day. It's really warm. Um, today was meant to be like a working in the van day and we are going to do it because, yeah, we need to make a video. But it's a stunner. Hard to be inside. So guys, it's a sad day. We're saying goodbye to Johnny and Hannah. Um, they're off to go up and explore the Dingle Peninsula. As you know, we love that place. So we're very excited to see what they get up to there. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> see you later. Thanks so much for looking after us for the last couple yeah, of days. Yeah, I feel like saying like, thanks for having us. <laughs> no, I don't know. Why does it feel Welcome like we're- Island guys. <laughs> yeah. like we're your hosts. The best introduction we've had to a country yet. Like oh, being yeah. able to get here and just like, you know, you guys welcoming us and showing us around a little bit and then been the best. way. <laughs> if you want to check out um, what Johnny and Hannah get up to, they've got a really nice channel called Finding Our Venture. So if you want to see what they get up to and what they get up to while they're with us, see a different perspective on it, go and check them out. Safe travels! <laughs> um, for lunch today, I'm going to cook us up a little recipe I got inspired by King in it for chickpea tuna. Chickpea tuna sandwiches. Never done it before, but I'm not following their recipe. I'm just remembering what I saw in a video and chucking it all in. But just some chickpeas, mayo, salt and pepper. Paprika, baby. Mash it all together, put in some bread. Yum. You don't want us to leave, do you? Look at this stunner of a spot, right on the front of the water at the water's edge and there's loads of space for campers. We've actually got our friends Steph and Jeff coming later on to join us, so it'll be lovely to see them again and it might actually be the last time we see them, uh, in Ireland at least, so it'll be lovely to hang out and they're also, um, we're going to meet Jeffrey's brother and Steph's brother too, have a little van clan. First thing we've got to do is put a bed away. So, just get into it. Tom. I'm 
getting in. No, you need to do I'm in. editing. Oh, it is, I just need to lie down. No, you, you need to edit. Is he? Is he? No. Is he? Cut it. Is he? So we have parked up here on the cliffs and we've just been treated to an incredible sunset. Um, today was going to be a work day. I did a bit, but I've been very distracted by the waves. Uh, so I haven't been that productive. I'm still going to have to do some more editing for the weekend because uh, this week's vlog isn't done yet. Um, but for now, uh, there's going to be a little group of us and uh, yeah, it should be a nice evening. Waking up to another beautiful day. Finally, it's going to be like glorious sunshine for the next few days. It actually really does feel like summer's here. Um, we're off to go and rock pool with Sophia and Steph and the crew. So, Steph's been a successful rock puller and loads of stuff. Oh, they've got really cute faces. It looks like they're smiling. So Tom's having his first time on the paddleboard. Um, I've left my wetsuit to Steph, so I'm just going to go in my swimming costume. And you might not paddleboard, so it'll be quite cold. Oh, that was so nice. It feels like we're on summer holidays. It's lovely going in the sea. It's actually been warm afterwards in the sun. Now we're having a bit of soup and bread in the Omnia. So we're yeah. saying goodbye to lovely Navigating Nina crew. Um, they've made us feel so welcome. Now we're off, we're off to complete the Wild Atlantic Way today. It's the final day, very emotional, but a stunner of a day for it. So we've driven a short way from our park up and we're now in Timalee. Oh my gosh. So the Friary was founded in the 13th or 14th century and it was destroyed in the 16th century uh, by the English. They burned it down. If you can go in and out of all these little uh, archways and it's a really big maze actually. It's a, it's a huge, huge abbey. Loads to explore. Town. We just really struggled to find this parking spot actually, it's really busy, it's the first time we've yeah, seen a really a big first, busy beach first down busy here. Beach we've seen an island, really. Thank you. Today we're just touring the beaches, drinking coffee on the way, life's pretty Lovely good. Lovely weather for it. Lovely weather for it. Yeah, we're just trying to eke out these last few beaches before we hit the sail and enjoy our last day of the warm weather away. We've just pulled up at old, the old head of Kinsale, so we are getting closer and closer to Kinsale. Um, beautiful the, here, the water is so clear and quite a busy little popular spot. Last, last spot before Kinsale is Sandy Cove, a sweet little bay. We are 
Oh, we've made it to Kinsale, the end of the Wild Atlantic Way. There was no sort of finish line, I, but I guess this is it. We finished it. So we're celebrating our finish line of the Wild Atlantic Way, and we're having a point to celebrate. So cheers! Cheers! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that tastes good. <laughs> we, we found a cameraman in Kinsale and we've uh, managed to drag along to the pub. <laughs> So that's it, we've officially finished the Wild Atlantic Way. What an amazing trip it's been. Thank you so much Ireland, thank you to everyone we've met along the way. It's just been incredible. But Ireland doesn't stop there, it continues. And we will be continuing to follow the coast as far as Ross Lair, uh, where we're gonna catch a ferry. So if you wanna see what we get up to next week as we visit Cork and surrounding area, um, make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give us a thumbs up. You don't have to, it's all cool. I do feel very emotional about finishing the Wild Atlantic Way. We did it for the last three months and it's been like the most special time and I'm really, I'm already treasuring the memories we have. But it's not goodbye to Ireland yet, so I don't need to get all emotional. But even then it's not goodbye. It's no, we'll later. be coming back. Yeah. It's just been such a wonderful time and it's exceeded like all of our expectations and it's the trip of a lifetime. Thanks Ireland. Thank you to the lovely people of Ireland. Thank you, Wild Atlantic Way. Thank you for the Bamba for getting us there. <laughs> Thank you, Dom, for driving me around. <laughs> See you next week. Cheers, then. A big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this week's video. If you'd like to test out Surfshark yourself, click the link in the description below.